it looks like oh, FINA, gosh. I think is the way you pronounce it, the governing body, the, mm. the swim cap designed for black women and their natural hair. God, it doesn't give you a leg up in the race. I don't know, it might weigh you down. They said, well, you can't mm -hmm. wear this at the Olympics. It doesn't conform to the head. How white of you? <laughs> that sounds about white, doesn't it? That sounds about mm -hmm. white. Mm -hmm. And now they're, because of the yeah. backlash and people, I believe, like Michael Phelps and these other people who are saying, this isn't right, it's not fair. And thank you, allies. Yeah, right. But why does it always have to be so hard? Because you're used to living in a world that's just about you, okay? And I'm just so, mm -hmm. you just make me want to stick my finger down my throat. You gag me. You gag me with this nonsense. The soul cap looks like it's going to be rescued and they will be allowed to wear it. Right now, it's still banned. Good. But are you really doing this? Just stop. That sounds about you white. You and the reason I say it in those offensive terms, that sounds about white. I'm not going to stop saying it. That sounds about white. That sounds about white. It's because it is. Damn it. We're so used to seeing a world that's different than ours. Knowing what your hair looks like and how it feels and how it performs and what products it needs. Would it kill you to know a little something about us? Is that so harmful? Mm. To step outside, mm -hmm. to color outside the line just a little bit and dip your toe in some chocolate water? Would that hurt you so much? That sounds about white. A lot of tone deafness going on when it comes to that type of stuff in the Olympics. The entire the, the, the banning of the the headgear because it's not conforming to most people's heads. <laughs> they don't obviously they don't look at our head. We get into the whole crown that we should talk more about that. Uh, a little bit later in the show, if not this show, yep. but later on this week about what's going on with the Crown Act around this country uh, and black hair and what that means. But uh, the tone deafness of you can't you can't protest, you can't wear a Black Lives Matter, you can't do certain things, this whole thing with you can't. There are so many things with this Olympic Games that make you wonder if black athletes should even participate in the Olympic Games. And I know that could yeah. be very controversial, to be quite honest with you. But it's like... You're not the only one saying you, it. Because, because when you say... You're going over to represent this country. Yes, you're going over to represent this country. But then if you can't represent what this country represents to you, then are you really representing your true self? If that makes sense whatsoever. I, I just I just think that there's something that people need to think about. Maybe if not this game, if things don't change four years from now, maybe we should think about that. And uh, I think it's you're be absolutely 20, right. It'll and be that's why I love Gwen Berry. Okay. That's why I love Gwen yeah. Berry. It's time for us to stop faking the funk mm -hmm. and pretending, oh, I, I, I love this. To keep it all the way above. Um, and that's what we're going to do. And real mm -hmm. quick, we're going to move on to Kevin because we got to talk about Elsa here and he's got some important information to give yeah. us. Vanessa Williams, we got to talk about what happened. She did a performance oh, okay. celebrating yeah. 4th of July, which yeah, I was Black celebrating Juneteenth plus whatever, how many more days, but whatever. The extension. And you, you got on right. her for that. Again, you, still, you don't know why she's singing that, really? 